guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another a day in a live video I miss doing this kind of vlog so here's another one and if you're interested in seeing what a day in the life of an IT professional is please keep on watching and without further ado let's get started with the video I just finished checking my emails to see if there's anything that's critical or urgent that I have to do or and also checked my ticket queue if someone responded and no one responded so far so I am now in our storage room as you can see there's a pile of a lot of equipment in here it's very messy but I'm here to grab a monitor that I can use for a project and some hardware work that we are gonna do today so we have a bunch of monitors lying around here I'm just gonna grab one also we do have a lot of towers in here that we no longer use because we have upgraded we keep them here still and not throw them away because we still can use them for parts like ram hard drive and such and we have boxes of peripherals here like keyboard mice some power cords okay so i'm not gonna grab just any monitor because i'm looking for a specific monitor that has hdmi port available because the computer that i will be working on only has hdmi port Okay, I found a monitor that I could use and it has the port that I need. I need HDMI port and it has display port here and VGA. Okay, so the issue that I have for today is that a lot of our older Nook computers are BIOS locked, which means that we can't access the BIOS. BIOS is a firmware that has the services to perform hardware initialization and boot process so this is where you can change your hardware settings and also change the boot process okay so the device that I'm working on is an Intel Nook this tiny computer here and I'm gonna open it up using a screwdriver just a Phillips screwdriver here open up the four screws and look inside and find where the configuration jumper is okay so I've opened the computer up this is the hard drive and I'm just putting this away here I'm gonna have to remove this one just be careful and this is the motherboard it's tiny so it's kind of hard to see but we are looking into the jumper which is that yellow thing okay so that yellow thing here this yellow thing is the jumper configuration that we have to remove and I'll be using this pliers to do that Okay, this is the tiny configuration jumper don't lose it because we are gonna put it back after so I'm not gonna close it up yet because we need to put the jumper back but I'm gonna have to plug in the peripherals the monitor keyboard and mouse and turn this back on so I powered it back on just waiting for it to boot then I'm gonna have to press F2 after that so in this screen it displays the following options and we are going to select two because it says clear bios user and supervisor passwords because we need that to unlock our bios and access the bios so i'm going to press two now and now it says please turn off power and reinstall the bios security jumper in normal or lockdown position so we are going to put the jumper back from the original position and power off the machine first so i'm gonna power off the machine make sure i disconnect it from the power source put the jumper back in where it was originally placed it 
to that so the jumper is back to its original position right there that yellow thing now i'm gonna power it on and see if the bios unlocked and it worked okay so now the bios is no longer locked and i'm able to access the boot order now that's the sign that it worked and bios no longer has a password because we reset it now that i'm sure that it's working i'm gonna close this back So it's been a very busy day so far. I have a lot of tickets and projects to do, a lot of projects to test out before we deploy them to users and to the system. And I am going to show you some of the tools that are helpful in how we do our work here and how we deploy our computers and systems. So we use this tool called Auto Logon from Microsoft and you can just download this for free on Microsoft website. So what this tool does is very simple. Whenever you reboot your computer, it just automatically logs on to the account that you have set it up with. You don't need to enter your username or password to get into the computer and that's very useful for the computers that just does one thing or one specific thing. Like for our security cameras, all you need to do is to see what the cameras have on the screen and there's no need for security people to keep logging on and off on the device and our security people doesn't have their own login credentials also so this is helpful because they don't need to have a username and password and IT people won't have to keep on logging in every time the computer reboots as well so in setting up this auto logon tool you just have to enter the username that is created on your system the domain name and the password that was set up for it and you just enable it okay so i have set up auto logon and let's see if it works i'm gonna restart the laptop and ta-da and i didn't have to enter any username or password it just logs in automatically and it does all of that without my intervention so this is a very helpful tool so it has been a busy very busy day so far and i hope that i have showed you enough on this video and you have learned something on this video and i will be getting off soon from work my desk is really messy right now and this side of my desk is also messy. I'm gonna have to clean up tomorrow. There's a lot of projects, a lot of tickets, a lot of issues going on that we have to resolve. And I'm definitely gonna make more videos about how we manage projects. And if you do have any video suggestions for me to do, please don't hesitate to leave it down on the comment sections below. And yeah, so I'm probably gonna show you a little bit of chicago downtown chicago when i'm walking to my train station if you want to hang out in my video for a bit because i will be getting off soon and it's still bright it's such a miracle that it's past four and it's still bright i think we're closer to the end of a winter i'm so excited but let me get ready to get off and we will be exploring chicago downtown in a bit